Uh, we now have some folks who are up here on the stage. The first one, a gentleman named Rodney Steverson. Now, if you've been around a lawyer for a long time, there's been a bunch of Steverson families, but this is a guy we have to recognize. He's a member of the class of 1958, and he was an excellent athlete in several areas. But the first one, and the most one he may be the most famous for, I don't know if you agree with this, and there's some guys out here in the audience that thought they were fast. There's a good story that he ran 9-7 in a 100-yard dash on the cinder track. Okay. That's equivalent today about something like 10-4 in 100 meters. I don't think you people know how freaking fast that is. <laughs> it's unbelievable that he could do that on a cinder track. Um, it's, this is a ridiculous comment, but they think he holds the record for that. If there's somebody else that did that, Bobby Lowe's down here ran 10-1. He couldn't even see his jersey. He was so far ahead of him that he did that. <laughs> he also played football. He was a great receiver from several positions, I understand it. But running back, let's talk about a little bit too, from what I heard. And at the same time, one of our other inductees, Joe Bulldog Anderson, who was one of our, Anthony, excuse me, uh, was one of the first guys to go in the Hall of Fame. He was on that football team. He was a DNC all conference football player as well. We have his family here today. They're sitting down here in front. His lovely wife is here. She's got two names. Antoinette's the one I have written down. She's got another one. Maybe two or three more. We're not sure. But if you'd like to say a few words, Rodney Steverson, a true Hall of Famer. And it was only eight feet, so it was very high. 
but it's a nice piece of cake, thank you for that. So I ran down there, hit the pole, knocked it back, went over the top, but I landed wrong, and I twisted my ankles. So I'm limping around, I said, oh, I can't tell the coach, this will kill me. So I'm limping, trying to hide from the coach, he says, what's wrong with you, Rodney? I said, oh, I just twisted my ankles. What were you doing? I was pole vaulting with Dave Williams. He says, you were what? And he looked at Dave Williams, and Dave goes, he wanted to do it. So he says, can you run? I says, I have to. Because we didn't start the track meet yet. So the track meet started, I ran the 100, I won. I ran the 200, I won. And we did the 4x4, 100, we won that. So he was happy, I was happy, and everybody went home. <laughs> None the worse. So again, thank you for the sign. Thank everybody for coming. And, um, thank you.